Hi guys, and welcome to our roof. Today's video is gonna be all about how we spruced up our school bus's roof. And it was a lot of work out here in the hot Florida sun, but we think it turned out pretty good. So stay tuned and decide for yourself. Before we could start painting our roof, there was a lot of prep work that we needed to do. So you can see here how much moss and dirt was actually on our roof in the years that it had been sitting. So we scraped off a lot of that old caulk where we were having leaks and we replaced that and resealed it so that we wouldn't have leaks. Next, we had to sand and clean the entire roof. So what you don't see here is that I also went up with a hose and a scrub brush and I actually scrubbed down the entire roof as well. And then we both took turns sanding everything down so that our paint would adhere really well to it. And you could tell by how fast those clouds are going by, just how long this took. There were also areas that we had to sand by hand in between the rivets and along the rails uh, because the palm sander wouldn't get to it. And the area of the roof actually goes down on the sides to the drip rails. So about six inches down either side is still considered the roof. So we had to sand and clean that as well. And those drip rails were also full of all kinds of sludge and debris that had been building up for years. So I also went through and flushed all of that out, scrubbed out the drip rails and got them nice and clean so they could be painted. And then once the roof was sanded and clean, we had to prime those areas that were exposed metal. So we used a rusty metal primer along the rails and rivets and then we were ready to paint. And all of the areas that we didn't want to get any of that roof paint on, we decided to tape off so we would be extra careful. And this was a bit of a nightmare because the plastic was blowing around in the wind and I had to kind of use my body to hold it in place the entire time that Sven was taping it up. And this upper back part was also considered part of the roof, so we went ahead and taped off these lights so that we could paint that as well. And here's Sven mixing up the paint, and this is the Henry's Tropical. We used five gallons. And then he set off to painting. So for most of the area of the roof, he used this three quarter inch nap roller on a long stick. In some other areas, he had to use a paintbrush to get into the little crevices, the nooks and crannies. And it got a lot messier than he was hoping to be. The paint kind of got all over his feet and shoes. But besides that, and the obvious fact of the hot Florida sun reflecting off this white roof the entire time, it went pretty well.
while Sven was finishing this up, this last bit of the bus, I was actually in the back sanding that top back part so that he could paint it as soon as he was finished. So that's what he did. The drip rail on the back of the bus is actually a bit lower than the sides, so the paint had to go down a little lower in the back. And then those side areas down to the side drip rails as well that were too hard to get from the top without falling off, he used the ladder and painted those by hand as well. Now, if that's not one nice sealed white roof, then I don't know what is.